Hi, I'm Davier. So, um, I have another unboxing. Let's open this sucker and see what's inside. It's gonna be actually interesting. Hopefully, um, it's gonna be uh, a repair video because uh, I won an auction on eBay uh, for this thing and uh, the seller said that it was um, untested. And yes, my friends, it's gonna be a mess. Holy sh... Oh, paper everywhere. Fucking hell. Oh my lab. Jeez, I hate it. Jesus. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. Alright, so I'm back again. That uh, is... Oh, Jesus! Frequency counter. My god. And there it is. It's in fair condition. I mean, uh... It is a little bit dirty, but it's gonna actually clean good. This thing is a 100 megahertz um, frequency counter, universal counter. Uh, the, the frequency is not that great, but uh, there is the optional, um, it's not fitted in this uh, model here, but uh, you can actually get the, um, I think, the option C, which is, I think, one gigahertz uh, bandwidth. This has um, a lot of features, you can have a ratio, uh, totalize, whatever, you know, uh, all the, the usual stuff, but has pulse width, rise full time, uh, has uh, the slope, uh, has the trigger level, has a ton of features, uh, has a single uh, mode, the gate time, the delayed, uh, has a hold off, has uh, the average has math, has everything you want. Nine digits of resolution. Not accuracy, not precision, but resolution. Nine digits. Beautiful. This is a closer look at the instrument. There is a sticker here and uh, it's certainly from some kind of lab. And um, it says new ISET here. And this is the calibration sticker, by the way, and uh, by down by Nemco uh, here in Italy. Uh, so, yeah, 2002 has all the uh, calibration void stickers, and on the back we have Hewlett Packard. This is the serial number here. Fuse line, and uh, I'm gonna actually check the fuse first. And those are the uh, line selection switches. Uh, you can actually see the input C is not present. So because you can actually see the internal and external um, reference right there. So there is the reference out now. That's the um, um, HPAB, which I, you know, I, I'm not gonna use it because I don't have any computer that accepts um, HPAB. I don't have a an adapter for it, but it's good to have. Let's see here. Oh, that's a uh, you know normal uh, slow blow fuse, and that's that seems good. Now I switched on, and you can see a standby lamp. So when you see that, it means that it could actually have a uh, an oven control crystal in it. So it uh, must actually warm up. So finger crossed. And the display is good. <laughs> it passes the self-test. And geez, do I have a working unit? Apparently, this thing just uh, just works. All right, so I have a one, a sorry, a 10 kilohertz signal. And it's pretty good. I mean, it works, it reads at least 10 and uh, it's actually still warming up so I uh, you know the the, uh, the accuracy is gonna actually get better and better with time so let's go to channel B go to channel B right there frequency B and yep it works and just for reference I just brought up a um, my old universal counter and this is gonna actually substitute this one. I'm gonna sell this one. And I actually sold 
already sold it and have to ship it. But uh, first, uh, actually, um, watching at the um, uh, frequency um, standard output from this thing here, and as you can see, it's pretty, pretty good. Even it's, um, you know, yeah, still warm, still actually warming up. So have to, you know, it's not fair. <laughs> So have to let it uh, sit uh, for, you know, a good uh, half an hour or so. Man, that's pretty good. So let's tear this thing apart, shall we? Calibration void. And we are in. There's nothing inside. <laughs> Expected something more. And here we go. This is the um, inside. You can actually see it's, uh, you know, I expected some kind of modular construction or whatever. Uh, and it actually is because you can actually see some connectors here, some edge connectors. But, you know, it's a huge uh, single board uh, for the whole instrument. You have a huge section here which is unpopulated. And I think that um, they share the same board between the um uh the HP um 5334A and B uh the A model uh, has some more advanced features like uh you know the um a storage options and and stuff like that has more advanced kind of things and um, you can actually see here the option C the option C input with increased bandwidth is actually missing uh, there is another connector right there which is unpopulated so here it is this is the actual crystal it's a um, 10 megahertz crystal here and I think it is a uh, temperature a T uh, C X O so temperature compensated uh, not tem uh, oven controlled um, crystal so it does not yes it warms up but uh, gets compensated um, the temperature gets compensated not uh, uh, it's not uh, thermal regulated really as far as the power supply goes boring stuff we do have the regulators um, all back here we do have some test points right there so we can actually test those and uh, see if they are okay. I expect everything to be to be good. I mean, I don't. It, it's perfectly working. So, yeah. And you can actually see here on the front end uh, some um, what uh, they look like some uh, sort of amplifiers. Uh, model M W A zero two zero four W. Some Motorola uh, components, but I uh, have no idea uh, because I I tried googling the part number, but uh, nothing really appears. And here in front end, we have some a bunch of relays here, and uh, some trimmers. Interestingly, some um, basic uh, operational amplifiers. We have some 74 uh, series uh, logic here. Uh, by the looks of it, 92. So I think this whole unit comes from, you know, early 90s. And those are all the uh, processing chips here. I have no idea what they do because those are all custom parts number. Even this one here. I... And we do have a little crystal here, four megahertz. And a bunch of uh, jumper links, so uh, just uh, zero ohms jumper links for the optional, uh, not not fitted optional uh, stuff that was here. Gonna actually go and uh, measure some voltages because you no, know, why not? So we do have twelve volts, and twelve volts are are there. We then have minus five point two. Perfect. Add the digital plus five. Bang on. And this will be the plus five. 
and a 2.5 uh, there we go perfect and no I can't really take the front panel off because um, those damn bolts here on the BNC are just stuck permanently there and uh, I cannot really take those off I don't really want to scratch anything so yeah so have to just uh, use it and that will actually come good again alright